calculating overtime pay. Okay, so in this lesson, we will calculate the overtime pay an employee is earning uh, over his regular rate. Okay, so paano ba nakukuha ni employee yung kanyang total pay, yung kanyang kabuang sweldo? So, yung regular pay niya, kung saan pinagtrabawahan niya yun ng 8 hours, and then the overtime pay, which is the work beyond 8 hours. And aside from that, so, pwede rin madagdagan ng night differential kung yung trabaho niya ay 10 p.m. up to 6 a.m. So, night differential is 10% of the regular pay. Then, holiday pay. So, if the employee also work on holiday. So, ang holiday pay naman natin ay times 2. If that is a regular holiday. So, it will be multiplied by 2. Halimbawa, ang regular pay ni employee ay 500 per day. So, 500 per day. Kung siya ay mayroong night differential, kung sa gabi niya ginawa yun, uh, yung kanyang trabaho, uh, between 10 p.m. to 6 a.m., so, yung 500 niya will become 550. Mayroong additional 10%, so, which is 50 pesos. Yung additional 10% ng 500. Then, kung holiday naman, nagtrabaho siya in holiday, so, that will be times 2. So, the employee will be paid uh, 1,000 pesos, so 500 multiplied by 2, so that will be 1,000 pesos. Okay, so this is the list of the percentage that is uh, given to the employee if they work on holiday and rest day. So kapag ka rest day, that will be multiplied by 1.3. So yung kanyang rate per hour multiplied by 1.3 1 times 8. So 8 hours kasi yung regular uh, working hours natin. Pag special holiday, so the same thing for rest day, para lang sila. So, the rate will be multiplied by 1.3. So, ibig sabihin, 130% yung kapag 1.3. Then, special holiday, tapos tumaon pa na rest day mo, tapos nagtrabaho ka. Halimbawa, ng special holiday natin, uh, for example, nawalan ng pasok ng December 24, kasi hindi naman holiday yung December 24. So, dineclare na special holiday si December 24, tapos nagtrabaho ka pa, rest day mo pa yon. So, the rate will be multiplied by 1.5. So, that is 150%, 1.5. Then, regular holiday, so binanggit na kanina, times 2. Kung regular holiday yon tapos nagkataon na rest day mo pa. So, that will be multiplied by 2.6. Then, kung double holiday naman, so, that will be times 3. Ano bang example natin ng double holiday? Halimbawa, yung araw ng kagitingan na April 9, tumapat pa siya ng uh, Monday, Thursday ng Webes Santo. Diba? For example, April 9, araw na siya ng kagitingan, tapos Webes Santo pa siya, tapos pinapasok ka ng company. So, yung rate mo will be multiplied by 3. So, times 3 yung rate. Times 300%. So, kung ikaw ay binabayaran ng 500 per day, in that particular day na nag-double holiday, ang susweldihin mo ay 1,500 sa araw na yun. Okay, so double holiday plus rest day, 3.9%. So, balik tayo kay araw ng kagitingan, tapos Webe Santo pa siya, tapos rest day mo pa siya, tapos pinapaso ka. So, yung rate mo will be multiplied by 3.9. Uh, by 3.9 or 390%. Okay, so ito yung ating basis for the computation of holiday and rest day pay. Okay, so halimbawa, let's have our example number one. So, an employee is paid 140 pesos per hour. So, 140 yung bayad sa kanya per hour. If he choose to work on November 1, which is a regular holiday, so how much will be his holiday pay? So, again, kung siya ay binabera ng 140 per hour, tapos nagtrabaho siya ng regular holiday, such as November 1, so, magkaning sa sweldo niya nung araw na yon. Okay, so, ano yung mga data natin? So, we have 140 per hour at saka yung November 1 na regular holiday. So, therefore, kung babalikan natin yung ating uh, table, so, kung siya ay regular holiday, the rate will be multiplied by 2 times 8. So, yung kanyang per hour times 2 times 8. So, yung 57, papalitan mo lang ng 140 kasi 140 yung per hour niya. So, regular holiday... So, therefore, that will be times 2 times 8. So, balik tayo kay problem. So, we have 140 times 2 times 8. 
So, therefore, meron siyang 2,240 na susweldo yan sa araw lang na yun. ba diba? Yung kinabukasan, babalik na uli sa regular yung kanyang uh, sweldo. Okay? So, 2,240 if he will be paid 140 per hour and work on November 1, which is a regular holiday. Okay, example number 2. So, Rosa's daily rate is 700 pesos. So, isang buong araw na trabaho ni Rosa is 700 pesos. Then, she choose to work on a rest day. So, rest day niya, nagtrabaho pa rin siya. For example, ang rest day niya ay Wednesday. So, pumasok pa rin siya ng Wednesday. So, kasi mayroong mga dapat tapusing trabaho. So, how much is her additional earning on her rest day? So, magano ang kikitain niya sa kanyang rest day? So, balikan natin ang ating given. So, we have 700 daily rate. So, and then, ang ating data is work on rest day. So, balik tayo kay table. So, andito ang ating rest day. So, ang rest day natin is times 1.3. Sir, bakit wala na yung times 8? Kasi ang given natin ay daily rate na. So, 1.3 na siya diretsyo. Hindi na siya per hour. Diba? Kasi ang given natin ay daily rate. So, ibig sabihin, kinita na niya yung 700 sa loob ng 8 oras. So, hindi tatanggalin mo na yung times 8. So, ang solution na lang natin will be 700 times 1.3. Again, kaya wala na yung times 8 kasi nga daily rate na siya. So, and that will be equal to 910 pesos. So, ang tikitain ni Rosa sa araw ng rest day niya kung siya ay naubligang pumasok or pumasok siya. So, is 910 pesos. Okay, and then, so another example here. So, holiday and rest day pay. So, kung si employee ay binabayaran ng 100, ng 100 pesos per hour. So, nagtrabaho siya ng regular holiday plus rest day pa niya. So, regular holiday na, rest day pa niya. Halimbawa, siya ay nagtrabaho ng, uh, sagay natin January 1, and then rest day niya yung January 1 na yun. Tumapat halimbawa ng Wednesday yung January 1, rest day niya. So, nagtrabaho siya ng January 1, regular holiday plus rest day. So, kung babalik tayo kay table, so regular holiday plus rest day, so that is times 2.6 times 8. Kasi ang given natin ay per hour rate lang. So, times 2.6 times 8. So, we have here 100 times 2.6 times 8. So, 2,080. So, kikita yung ating empleyado ng 2,000. Okay, example number 2. We have here 580 per day. So, daily rate na to. Wala na tayong times 8 dyan. That is a daily rate. So, tapos nagtrabaho siya ng special holiday. So, magkano ang kanyang special holiday pay? Ano example natin ng mga special holiday? So, example, yung mga bulakan day natin, special holiday lang natin yun. Okay, kasi that is a local holiday. Special non-working holiday, pero nagtrabaho sila. Okay, so 580 per day. So, again, so let's have table now. Kapag special holiday, so that will be 1.3 times 8. Pero in this case, hanggang times 1.3 na lang tayo. Kasi given na yung daily rate, eh, so wala na tayong times 8. Dahil ang binigay sa kanyang sweldo ay daily rate na. Isang buong araw na sweldo na ngayon. Okay, so therefore, that will be 580 times 1.3 is equal to 754 pesos. Okay, third example, we have here 250 per hour. So, ang rate ni empleyado natin ay 250 per hour and then double holiday. So, balik tayo kay araw ng kagitingan, tumapat ng uh, Webes Santo. So, therefore, kung da yan ay double holiday, so the rate will be multiplied by times 3. Okay? So, times 3 yung rate natin and then times 8 kasi nga per hour rate lang. So, kung 250 per hour, so that will be 250 times 3 times 8 and that will be 6,000 pesos. So, sa loob lang ng isang araw, kikita siya ng 6,000 pesos kung siya ay binabayaran ng 250 per hour. So, kataniwan dito syempre yung mga mataas ang position sa isang company mga administrator. Okay, so let's proceed. 
So, how to calculate overtime pay now? So, depende sa in-overtime mo na araw o oras ng trabaho. Kung ordinary day lang yung overtime mo. So, nagtrabaho ka more than 8 hours. So, every hour, uh, every hour ahead of that 8 hours will be paid uh, your hourly rate multiplied by 125%. Kung rest day naman na nagtrabaho ka ng overtime, 169%. Special holidays, 169% also. So, pareho lang yung rest day sa kanyang special holiday. Special holiday plus rest day, 195%. Ang ating multiplier, regular holiday, 260%. Regular holiday plus rest day, 238%. Then, double holidays, 390%. And double holiday plus rest day is 507%. So, yung mga data natin dito is uh, constant. Okay, so proceed. So, example, uh, certain employees earning 100 pesos per hour. So, halimbawa, ang kinikita ng empleyado natin ay 100 pesos per hour. And then, so, sumobra na ng 8 hours yung trabaho niya. So, how much will be the overtime pay? Okay, so how much ang kanyang early overtime pay or OT pay? So, balikan natin ang table. Kung yun ay ordinary day lang, so that will be multiplied by 125%. So, therefore, yung kanyang uh, 100 pesos per hour ay babayaran ng 125 per hour. So, sumobra na siya ng 8 hours ng trabaho. Okay, alimbawa, ang regular na trabaho lang niya is 7 to 3. So, yung 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, for example, nagtrabaho pa siya ng 4, 5, 6. So, yung tatlong oras na sobra, multiply na sa 125 pesos kada oras. Okay, then, overtime pay during rest day. So, ang ating overtime pay during rest day ay 169%. So, we will multiply it by 169%. So, kung 100 pesos per hour siya times 169%, so that will be 169 pesos per hour. So, nagkataon lang kasi 100 yung ating uh, rate per hour. Kaya, madaling mag-multiply. Okay, then night shift. So, ang ating night shift differential ay 110%. So, nagkita natin kanina, if the employee will work from 10 p.m. up to 6 a.m., mayroon siyang night shift differential pay. And that will be 110%. So, kung ikaw ay binabayaran lang ng uh, 500 per day, kung ikaw na duty ng night shift, that's only 550 per day. Halimbawa, yung security guard, di ba? Kung sumusweldo ng 500 per day yung security guard sa regular shift, pag siya ay napunta ng night shift, uh, 550 yung bayad niya. So, merong differential na 50 pesos. Okay? Then, night shift overtime pay, so 137.5% yung ating night shift overtime pay. So, kung siya ay nagtrabaho ng uh, night shift na 10 to 6, tapos umabot pa ng 8 o'clock yung trabaho niya. So, umabot pa siya ng 8 o'clock, so meron pa siyang dalawang oras na overtime. So, the employee will be paid 137.5% uh, of the hourly rate. So, balik tayo dito. So, night shift pay. So, ang night shift pay niya is 110 per hour. Binagitan natin kanina. So, 110% per hour. So, yung early overtime pay niya on night shift. So, multiplied by 137.5%. So, 137.5 pesos. Okay. Early overtime pay on holiday. Regular holiday. So, kapag regular holiday tayo, ang ating early rate ay 260%. So, imumultiply natin sa 260% yung ating uh, regular rate per hour. So, ang regular rate per hour niya ay 100 times 260%. So, that will be 260 per hour. Okay, so this is an example on how to calculate the overtime pay. So, ordinary pay, ordinary uh, day. Overtime pay during rest day, overtime pay during night shift, and overtime pay during holiday, regular holiday. Okay, example number two, let's have a problem here. So, Mr. Antonio's daily rate is 675. So, si Mr. Antonio is sumusweldo ng 675 per day. 
He works on a regular day from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Okay, so 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. So how much did he earn that day? So analyze muna tayo. So from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. work. So that is 12 hours work. So labing dalawang oras siya nagtrabaho. Then yung 8 hours don regular work. So binabayaran ng 675 yun. Well, yung kanyang 4 hours ay overtime work na. So yung sobra sa 8 hours is 4, which is considered to be an overtime work. So, yung overtime work natin, so, will be multiplied by 125%. So, yung kanyang hourly rate, yung multiply sa 125%. Pero, wala tayong hourly rate eh, kasi ang given dito ay daily rate. So, divide natin yung 675 divided by 8 para makuha natin yung per hour niya. Kung binabayaran siya sa buong araw ng 675 sa buong araw, so, susweldo siya ng 80 or sumusweldo siya ng 84.38 per hour. Diba? So, sa bawat oras, sumusweldo siya ng 84.38 pesos. So, ito yung early rate natin. So, from that early rate, okay, so sa ating rate per hour, imumultiply yan sa 125%, saka kung ilang oras pa siya nagtrabaho. So, 125%, times 84.38, times 4. 4 hours yung overtime niya. So, 421.90 pesos. Okay? So, yung 675, ito yung regular rate niya. Yung 421.90, ito yung kanyang uh, overtime pay. So, ang tinatanong, magkano yung kinita niya sa buong araw? Okay? So, therefore, the total earnings of Mr. Antonio that day is, a, is regular pay plus overtime pay. So, pagsamahin natin ng 675, saka yung 421.90, and that will be equal to 1,096.90. So, based on the given problem, if, if Mr. Antonio works from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., having a daily rate of 675, so included yung overtime niya, so sweldo siya sa araw na yon ng 1,096.90. Okay, so calculating overtime pay using a standard formula. So yung ginamit natin kanina, tayo ay nag-analyze. Diba? Yung 8 to 8 ay 12 hours. Yung 8 oras doon ay regular work. Yung 4 na oras doon ay overtime. So yung 8 hours, minabayaran siya ng 675. Sa 4 na oras, kikita siya ng 421.90. So pag tinotal, meron siyang 1,096.90 na earning for that particular day. So in-analyze natin. So, pero, merong isang paraan, balikan natin ang example number 2, merong isang paraan para makompute natin ang ating overtime pay using a standard formula. So, ano yung standard formula natin? So, T is equals to 1.25H minus 2 all over 8 times R. So, yan ang tatandaan nyo ng formula to compute for the overtime pay. Okay, so, we have here overtime, regular overtime pay lang to ha, regular overtime pay. Kapag yan ay night shift, mababago yung 1.25 kasi hindi na siya 125%. Kapag holiday din, mababago din yun. Okay, so kunin natin yung mga variable natin. So, yung ating letter T will represent the total pay. So, ito yung total pay natin. So, letter T. Then, letter H will be the number of work hours. Ilang oras siya nagtrabaho. Then, letter R will be the daily rate. Magkano yung kinikita niya sa loob ng isang araw. Okay, so that will be the formula in computing for the overtime pay. Okay, so balik tayo kay example number 2. So Mr. Antonio's daily rate is 675. He works on a regular holiday from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. So how much did he earn that day? So first, we'll go back with the formula. And the formula is T is equal to 1.25H minus 2 all over 8 times R. So, alamin muna natin nasan yung ating letter H. Ang ating letter H ay 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. So, therefore, ang H natin is equivalent to 12. Labing dalawang oras nagtrabaho si Mr. Antonio. And then, alamin natin ang ating letter R. So, ang ating daily rate ay 675. Binabayaran siya ng 675 kada araw. So, after having our data, so we will substitute. Mag-substitute lang tayo. So, copy T. Copy 1.25, replace H with 12. Copy minus 2, copy 8. 
and then multiplied by substitute natin yung 675 kay R so times 675 then apply lang tayo ng PEMDA so 1.25 times 12 minus 2 equal and then divided by 8 so unahin natin yung ibabaw tapos divide sa 8 and then times 675 okay and uh, that will be 1000 96.88 So, pag ginawa natin yun So, 1,096.88 Okay, so although may konting difference siya Pero, paraho na rin yun Diba? Kasi meron tayong rounding off eh Diba? Pag niround off naman natin sa nearest peso yan eh That will be 1,097 Diba? Yung ginamita natin ng analysis Inunti-unti natin ang ating solution 1,096.90 Nung ginamit natin yung formula given in the book, so that is 1,096.88. Pareho lang din naman yan. Okay? So, although merong point something difference, wala namang problema din. Eh. Example number 3, Arthur earns 560 pesos when he works for 10 hours in a regular day. How much is his daily rate? So, ang sweldo ron ni Arthur sa buong araw na pinagtrabaho ko niya ay 560 pesos pero 10 hours yun. So, yung 560, kasama na dito yung overtime niya na dalawang oras. So, 8 hours yung kanyang regular work. So, plus 2 yung kanyang overtime. Kaya 10 hours niya pinagtrabaho ko niya 560. Okay, so let's go back with the formula. T is equal to 1.25 H minus 2 all over 8 times R. So, first thing to do, we need to identify our H and R. Ang problema natin, meron nga tayong H which is equal to 10. So, 10 hours nagtrabaho si Arthur. Pero yung R natin is question mark. So, hindi pa natin alam kung magkano yung ating daily rate. So, R is equal to question mark. The good thing is, meron tayong letter T. And letter T is 560 pesos. So, total earnings niya for the day is 560 pesos. Okay, so substitution method. So, ipalit ang 560 kay letter T, palit ang 10 kay H. So, 560 is equal to 1.25 times 10 minus 2 all over 8 times R. So, ang nawawala natin is the variable R. So, apply tayo ng PEMDA. Solve muna yung itaas and divided by sa baba. So, 1.25 times 10 minus 2 equal and then divided by 8. And that will be 1.31 R. So, copy 560. So, 560 is equal to 1.31 R. So, next, tanggalin natin yung 1.31 para matanggal siya. So, we will divide both sides by 1.31. So, divided by 1.31, divided by 1.31. So, cancel, cancel. Ang 1.31, matitrice letter R. And then, divide. Use your calculator. 560 divided by 1.31. So, R is equal to 427.48. So, yung daily rate ni Arthur ay 427.48. Kaya lang siya naging 560 kasi meron siyang dalawang oras na overtime. So, the answer is 427.48. Then, so let's try this. So, supposed to be an employee. An employee's early rate is 80 pesos and works 8 hours a day. So, halimbawa daw, ang isang empleyado is sumusweldo ng 80 pesos per hour. 80 pesos per hour. Then, ang regular working hours niya ay 8 hours, syempre. So, example number 1. So, how much is his ordinary day overtime rate per hour? So, kung siya ay sa sobra ng 8 hours, magkano ang ibabayad sa kanya? Okay, pilikan ng table. So, times 125% yung hourly rate natin. So, therefore, yung ating 80 pesos, multiply na sa 125%. So, that will be 100 per hour. So, after nung 8 hours niya, yung pang na oras na niya, babayaran siya ng isang daan kada oras. Okay, second question. So, how much is his rest day overtime rate per hour? So, halimbawa, rest day na yung pinagtrabawuhan niya. Nagtrabawa siya during his rest day. So, at nag-overtime pa siya. So, magkano yung kadapat swelduhin niya sa kanyang overtime? So, ang rest day, minumultiply natin sa 169% per hour. So, 169%. So, balikan natin ang question. Kunin mo yung 80. Imultiply mo sa 169%. So, yung overtime pay niya sa kanyang rest day ay 135.20 per hour.
Okay, third. How much is his special non-working day overtime rate per hour? So, yung rest day kasi, saka yung special non-working day, para lang yun ng percentage. Okay, so, para lang silang 169%. Kaya, para lang din ang solution doon. So, that will be 135.20 also. So, 80 times 169%, so 135.20 per hour. Okay, number four. So, how much is his regular holiday overtime rate per hour? So, kung holiday naman siya nagtrabaho at nag-overtime pa siya, so, puntahan natin ang ating table, so, 260%. And that will be 208 per hour. So, 80 times 260%. Is equal to 208 per hour. Okay, next question. Question number 5. So, uh, how much is his special non-working day plus rest day overtime rate per hour? So, special non-working day na siya, tapos rest day pa. Nag-overtime pa siya. So, that will be multiplied by 195%. So, yung kanyang per hour ay mumultiply natin sa 195%. And that will be 156 per hour. And then last, how much will be the regular holiday plus rest day overtime rate? So, 338% naman tayo. Holiday na siya. Rest day mo pa. Nag-overtime ka pa. So, 338%. That will be multiplied by 338%. So, that will be 80 times 338%. And that will be equal to 270.40 per hour. Okay, so, and that will be all for calculating overtime pay.